that, that confronts this entire uh, kind of question, really, is how do you say that it cannot be proven at a time when there is such opacity? Nobody really knows what is where. All we hear are the figures. Do you think that in a democracy that is the best practice? Well, I think it is because I had explained everything in a paper, in a written paper, so people don't seem to understand, and uh, people rush into taking decisions. And we don't use any consultant, you understand? Mm. We, there goes the, the, the necessary processes. So, can, can you take us through the process? So, for instance, if you confiscate money, well, how do you, how is it kept? Do you take it to the CBN? You know, what, what no, precisely the, uh, happens? There, there, are, there are monies we send it to the recovery account in the CBN. There are monies that are being trapped, frozen in an account. There are monies we recover uh, for federal government institutions. We collaborate and uh, help them to recover. Uh, there are monies we recover for individuals and corporate organizations. So Such money, some of them will have to go through the process of litigations, through the process of prosecution. Then the, the court will, will come up with the, with the body. So the EFCC doesn't the, the keep court. custody of any, of any funds, of any monies that it recovers by itself? No, we do at some point. Particularly those we recover in cash. It is kept in the, in the exhibit of, uh, room. And uh, at certain intervals, we make sure that this money is sent to our recovery account in the CVN. Before we go ahead, Mapa. I was going to ask you, I mean, it's definitely one thing for us to, you know, be launching a very magnificent institution today. But then there are questions as to, you know, institutionalizing the fight against corruption. Uh, some people have said the manner in which we have gone about it in, in the many years that the EFCC has been founded has not shown that we are trying to institutionalize the fight against corruption. It would seem that it has been at the whims at the caprices of whoever it is that is at the helm of affairs, uh, sometimes the president, sometimes it could be the person who is heading the EFCC at a point in time. How do you respond to those who say that we have not quite institutionalized the fight against corruption? No, I, th I, I, I think the fact that we have been able to put this structure in place and it's ready for commissioning today, and it has gone through three administrations in the EFCC plus me, it started from Mr. Nouri Badu and uh, Mr. Farida Waziri and uh, Mr. Ibrahim Lamode and as me, I'm trying to complete it. We have completed it. It shows we are, we are building an institution. Uh, the EFCC has gone beyond individuals. Are you, are you then, comparing And the... I assure you, I'm telling you we are doing our work without any manner of interference. M Mr. Mago, yes. are you comparing the building, the physical structure? Yeah with the actual fight against corruption? No, the fiscal some, structure some, give some create a better things. environment. The fiscal structure will create a better environment to, to it is better you stay in your own structure than uh, occupying rented quarters to run the office. How so the, the, the fact that, please, you need to go and see the, 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 uh, the how, edifice. How there. does, how does the, the fact that you are working... Sorry, sorry is, to interrupt you, sir, but how does a building, for instance, decide who you prosecute, I mean, when you prosecute the person, how you prosecute the person, the manner in which you prosecute the person, I mean... No, we, we just need to move forward. You, you have a better working environment and this helps to, uh, I mean... You have had the accusation of, of the fight against corruption being tilted. I mean, the, of the, course, the, the opposition party... You always have such accusation. Always... I'm telling you, you always have such accusations. You're not worried about the, it? the issue of selectivity. Of course, we go after those people who have committed an offense. M Mr. Mago, you've mentioned here. That I, I have not invited you, you know. Mm. Mr. Mr. Mago, yes. you've, you've, you've mentioned here that there has been no political interference, in your view, in your operations. Yeah, yeah. Now, if, if that holds, what, what is your response to Nigerians who have raised uh, very serious concerns that you were investigating, actively investigating? the current executive secretary of the NHIS. And w during the course of that investigation, the president essentially issues a letter and reinstates him to office while he's being investigated. Does that not send a signal to your organization that leave this man alone? No, we are still investigating. I'm telling you, if we have sufficient evidence, we'll, we'll charge him. 
-hmm. we, are, we have not stopped one inch, one minute. Investigation is still going on. There has never been a day where anybody call me and say stop. It doesn't happen now. I'm telling you, I'm old enough in the, in the anti-corruption campaign in this country, and, and I know what is, I mean, what's going on. Let's quickly go to Lagos now. My colleagues there have questions for you. Oh, yes. Good morning, guys. Uh, Mr. Magu, yes, we know uh, that it, it is not easy fighting corruption, particularly in this country, because there are Thank several you. challenges. But could you tell us, because, I mean, at the time, there were lots of Nigerians who were looking to see how several things will happen. Number one, they asked, what is the current situation with the investigation about the former SGF, or former DG of NIA? It's, 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 it's one. And very soon you... Oh, it's conclu we'll conclude it. Okay. Um, could I am telling you there is no sacred cow. Right. Okay. What about, uh, because when this one also happened, there were lots of people who were kind of surprised. They didn't understand what was going on. It had to do with Abdul Rashid Mena. What's going on with this case? The case is already in court. And uh, there are a pocket of uh, uh, intelligence arising from the, the recent happening, and, and we, are, we, are, we are investigating. At the right time, we, we are still looking for him. He's still a declared, a, a, I mean, a wanted person. So, uh, Chamberlain, you know, this, this fight, the fight against corruption, is about Nigeria. I want Nigerians to take ownership, you and others, you and me. It should not be left to the anti-corruption agency to pursue this issue. You understand? We, I want to appeal to every Nigerian to take ownership of the fight against corruption. And this is the only way we can ensure victory. And I assure you that victory shall come. You know, uh, Mr. Magu, uh, when the president came into office, one of the mantra he wrote on was to destroy corruption, the absence of which corruption will destroy Nigeria. And just recently, he made that, uh, uh, he reflected back on that, talking about the delay in the release of the 2018 budget. Do you believe that the Senate, for instance, and there are elements, he says, that are responsible for this delay in the passage of the budget? And do you still have uh, some cases to settle with some members in the Senate? I, I think we should reserve this for another day. Which one of the questions? I, I perhaps Gimba should go through his questions again. Asking you, okay, let, let me take the second part of the question. Do you still have issues with some members of the Senate that are deemed to have uh, committed some level of financial fraud? No, no, it's, it's, uh, Gimba, it's not personal. It's not really personal. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say I have uh, issues to settle with some members of the Senate. I think that should have been the question. Now, just on Monday, uh, there was no <clears> news <throat> that uh, the EFCC failed to arraign Senator Jonah Jang and a cashier, Yusuf Gyang Pam. And the reason why they were not able to do it in just the Plateau State Capital was that the EFCC was citing logistics. Uh, and these people are in their custody. What sort of logistics no, 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 the Not EFCC? really logistics, it's security issues. You know, we, we had a very serious concern when we went to, we were attacked twice when we went to arraign uh, suspects in Jaws. Uh, and and uh, uh, our brand new PIFO, I mean, Pigeot car was, was burnt. You know, I don't know whether you recall. I remember even the new no, river was attacked along Jaws Road. So I only say that uh, we need to make some uh, proper. Uh, procation and uh, security arrangement will go, but suddenly it will be arranged on, on Wednesday.